Good afternoon, everyone. Happy holidays. Today I'd like to talk about different atmospheric anomalies that have occurred. There's been some rainbows in the driest place on the planet. And as we're looking for 140, 150 year cooling patterns, it seems there's a few animal migrations, animals and birds that haven't been seen in certain areas in more than 140 years. Suddenly there's three instances of this occurring here in December. Let's run through a couple of things. Something interesting that has occurred in the Arctic Circle around Norway, nacreous clouds, also called polar stratospheric clouds. These types of clouds are called mother of pearl. The last time that something like this was seen was in 2004. And for these types of clouds composed of ice crystals, temperatures of minus 85 degrees Celsius are required and generally occur in areas of harmful destruction of the ozone. It's been known for a couple of years now that in the Arctic there's also a hole in the ozone similar to what is in the southern hemisphere, but now there's one also in the northern hemisphere. These nacreous clouds, this shot here is from 2004. You can see the nice rainbow colors in there. I would really like to see that with my own eyes. And my entire series of videos is premised on the idea that we are going to repeat a cold phase from either the 1880s or something around the 1640s. So when you start to look for a climate that mimics this in terms of cold and snowfall records, I stumbled across a couple things about different migrations of Arctic birds. The Arctic seagull hasn't been seen in Turkey in 140 years but suddenly shows up. This was off the Black Sea. And another instance is in Kentucky, the first confirmed sighting of a mountain lion since the Civil War. The Civil War was 1861 to 1865, which puts us right into that 140 year time frame again. There are also a couple of Ridley turtles that were found in the UK 5,000 miles, which is approximately 8,000 kilometers off of their home range which is normally in the Gulf of Mexico. They swam across the Atlantic Ocean. The Arctic Gur Falcon, this bird has been sighted much, much further south than its normal migration pattern. The Arctic Snowy Owl, is, these were spotted in Minnesota as well as Wisconsin. The number 44 was given in the news article on December 19th, but apparently now there's about a hundred of these particular owls. Robins, if you're in North America, these are a very common bird, but this robin did the opposite of what it should. It, it's in Alaska now in the middle of December. As well as another type of robin from the UK was spotted in China. That's a long way to fly. It actually made the news in China for being such a rare bird sighting at that time. Keeping on the subject of bird, the Himalayan vultures. They were fleeing a cold event from the Himalayan mountains in Himshal Pradesh, in Bhutan and Nepal. They flew all the way into Bangladesh before they collapsed from exhaustion. Also, there seems to be deer behaving very strangely in the United States. Deers crashing through windows, going into the Walmart where they had to tackle a deer inside the store. Deers walking into homes. Again, when we stay on the animal migration, there seems to be an invasion of snakes from the mountains down into the cities in Vietnam. The green snakes, which are poisonous, are suddenly fleeing the mountains, taking refuge in homes. And one resident says that, you know, there was a green snake on the table in their family home. And once they got rid of that, they found five more green snakes in their house. What's driving all the wildlife into different habitable zones? Do they feel something or know something that we as humans don't quite sense in either magnetic changes or atmospheric changes, weather anomalies that they can sense months in advance and are actually getting out of the danger zones now? And something unusual in Scotland, they call these ice pancakes. Of course, the meteorologists will try to explain it away as wind patterns driving and, you know, bumping pieces of ice until they circulate into circles. It's the first time I've ever seen this. And the news story actually points out that it's more common in Antarctica. 
than it is in the Northern Hemisphere. Something incredibly unusual, this is the driest place on the planet, the Atacama Desert. Above 2,900 meters, rainbows in this area. Rainbows require moisture. This is just an incredibly beautiful picture, so I'll make it widescreen here without any writing so you can just really appreciate the beauty of this. The Chilean deserts, there's mummies up there. It's been part of antiquity for so long with all these ancient cultures. They thrived there before because there was water. Then there was atmospheric changes and climate change that dried out the area. But now it seems to have some sort of anomalous weather pattern. I believe it has something to do with Antarctica showing record ice since the satellite measurements began in the 1970s. If there's more ice pushing out further from Antarctica up toward South America, of course this would have some sort of effect on the climate going through there. And there's at least 60 scientists with peer-reviewed material that are predicting this next solar cycle will be less intense, which will bring us into a grand solar minimum. The signs are all around now that we are starting to repeat some sort of 140-year events. Animals are migrating in different areas. Climatic events from blizzards in Hawaii right now, the December 25th on Christmas. It's just a really interesting time to see all of these events unfold. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Animals are good indicators. They always sense earthquakes before those events happen. Obviously they're doing something different now because they sense something else coming.